We're good morning. Good morning. As y'all may see or may not see, I don't know how much footage I got of the drop, but uh, I caught the last boar, boar hog. It may be a boar hog. Last hog, any which way. I'm still at the church. I had, uh, you know, I caught the group, uh, the big sound of the other night, and I had one big boar hog, at, or one big hog. I can't tell it what it is. So, uh, anyway, we're going to get dressed up here, and we're going to go over here. We just got to go. We we'll have to go over the fence right there. I don't have a ranger with me today. I had uh, loaded my lawnmower up, went over and cut my girlfriend's yard yesterday, and uh, I didn't have my ranger, so I uh, left my ranger. So I'm going to walk over there, go through this fence right here. I'm we'll going to go through that fence. That's the thing where I shot the hog out when it's trapped. I'm going to go I'm gonna go over the fence, shoot the hog, and then uh, figure out <laughs> what we're going to do from there. So... Uh, I ain't got a clue yet what to do, but anyway, get all rubber booted up here, and uh, like I said, that'll be thir 13 pigs caught, so uh, out of this spot where they've been tearing this old churchyard up, so, uh, and then I'll I'll come back uh, today, or this afternoon, or tomorrow, and get the trap, and whatnot. I'll take this old pocket jack just in case. Oh, I got some gloves. Anywho, 22s in the front seat. Let's go see what we can do, boys. Mm -hmm. You see all that damage? All that yard damage. Can I see the hog or not? He'll cut up here in just a minute. Get a little boy hog over there. See him over there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to get through the gate of fence over here first. still on the tripod here. Just gonna ease up here and look at this old dude. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little boy hog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see with that sunrise coming up right there. Get over on this side. Yeah, I can see a little bit. Yeah. Good little boy. A good little look at him. Yeah. Good look. Anyway. Anyway. It's kind of the whole 
thing of going through and doing, I don't know, just giving y'all something to process. I just had to get through that gate over there, but anyway, get some breath, get some stuff done. Let me get this trap up. We'll talk about it a little bit. I'll see what it's like. I'm kind of in a dilemma because I don't have a way to haul him. I gotta rather drag him all the way back over there or something. Anyway, let's see how heavy he is. I know he's stout. I know he's stout and mean. A little drag, yeah. It's gonna be a good little drag, so. You know me, I'll be wore out, guys. I'll be wore out. By the time I drug that thing, so. Just hold on just a minute. There's a wheel, there's a wheel. Yeah. So anyway, got a pretty good boar hog guy. Got them good fuzzy woods. It's... Now my plan is to drag him up, up right there, put him in the middle. Now the only problem I got is my reverse uh, handles right there. So we have to see how that works out. But whew, I'm gonna give out just from riding a lane lawnmower. Anyway. Get you one at Four Seasons Equipment in Tupelo, Mississippi. <laughs> oh, all right, guys, we're going to try it. Give me just a minute to kind of get my thoughts together. May have to get my lawnmower turned around and headed yonder way. And uh, that way I don't have to make that turn with that big extra 125 on there, you know. I'm already up to 182. <sighs> went to the chiropractor the other day. And put me on my stomach, went to crack my back. Who I said, man. Look at him, Doc. I said, you got that thing that your face sits in like that right there, you know, it fell down? I said, I'm going to need one for my belly. <laughs> Girl be making me happy. Oh, anyway, <laughs> let's get this thing loaded up, see what we can do. Oh, all right. Now, I guess the first thing we need to do is lower this thing down right here. Give him a little head room. <laughs> this, is, this is an experience for me now. I don't act like I know what I'm doing, because I don't. I mean... How many people bring out a lawnmower? A bit bring out a pig with a lawnmower. Well, we're gonna try it. And if this don't go well, it's all y'all's fault, you hear? Yeah. Let me get a good grip. Get behind them chompers right there. See how this goes. That song on is meat, you hear me? It's all meat right there, boy. Now, I know. Y'all calm down, ladies. Y'all calm down. 
<laughs> Especially you 65s and older. <laughs> Pretty good, don't? Yeah. <laughs> oh my good. Hey. Well, you know we gotta get a picture. <laughs> I'll screenshot this. <laughs> oh, y'all better calm down. Y'all better calm down. Anyway, I guess we better see if we can get out of here and uh, see how it goes. I don't know. Let's try it. See. Might get stuck. being silly but a man gotta do what a man gotta do y'all the one keep talking about don't pull on your back too much <laughs> it'd be hurting too oh, yeah. oh my <sighs> yes sir yes sir i love it anything better than hole trapping is anything better than hole trapping <sighs> i'll drag him off to the side here in just a minute Set on them. We might have to cook them up, bud. What y'all think? Might have to cook them up. Anyway, that should conclude the business I have here at the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church on Tom Valentine Road in Clay County, Mississippi. When it dries up enough, we can get the grass cut. Then again, maybe I could just cut the grass while I'm here. <laughs> but anyway, oh, it's still wet and soggy and nasty back there. But any which ways, that will conclude the episode of this episode of the Yolk Yolk Show. Pulling wild hogs out on a cup and debt, coming down there from Four Seasons Equipment in Tupelo, Mississippi. <laughs> any which way, y'all know how it goes. We done took care of the Lord's house, and now I got to get to work. So I hope you have a good day. God bless. And is a Jesus loves you. Buzzy, wuzzy.